little patchy. Ah, uh, uh, but yeah. <coughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I know I have not posted since like January, but today I'm bringing you guys a unboxing video with a little Q&A. I thought it would be fun if I answer some questions just so you guys can get to know me. And I have a lot of small businesses that sent me stuff. So I wanna support them and shout them out. And yeah, so let's get into the video. So as you can see, I have a lot of questions that people were asking me. So I'm gonna answer them for you while I unbox some packages. The first thing I want to do is just introduce myself. So my name is Jennifer Hernandez, aka La Fresa. Um, I just turned 23. My birthday is on March 28th. I am an Aries baby. I'm the oldest of two siblings. I grew up with a single mother and I feel like that really taught me independence and how to start my own like business and things like that. I'm located in Martinez, California. Really small town here in the Bay Area, so that is where I'm located. So the first question is, where do I get my sweaters, my custom sweaters? Where do I get them? Honestly, I get this question asked a lot. Make sure you guys tell her that La Fresa sent you. A sweater is made by Sue Berry. I am not 100% sure how to say her name, so don't come for me, but I think it's Sue Berry Embroidery. I will obviously put her Instagram right here, but she made me these really cute, tight-fitting, BBL-looking sweaters. So it's this type of material, and she embroidered my logo in the back of this sweater, as you can see. I did send her my logo, and I also told her if she can add a little strawberry to the sleeve, and she did. I added my La Fresa boss, and I also asked her for a black one. So she made me a black one, same thing. I did get these in a size medium. They're really tight fitting, which I like. It did take at least two to three weeks for me to receive this order, so, I highly, highly suggest putting your order ASAP so she can start working on your order, but I highly recommend her. What motivated you to start making Ramos? There's not a specific reason that made me start making Ramos. Um, I started my business back in 2019. I started as a strawberry maker, hence the name La Fresa. I started incorporating roses into my orders. And then I slowly just started working with flowers more and more. And then one time, this person just wanted a bouquet, no strawberries. So that was my first bouquet ever. And ever since then, I just started making more and more bouquets. But yeah. Where do you get your custom stickers? I have a sticker plug that I've been working with him for a while now. He has made me a lot of stickers. I'll show some of my old stickers on here so you guys can get an example. Here are some stickers that I have. These are from Vancy Stickers on Instagram. I will put his Instagram right here. He has good quality stickers, affordable stickers in my opinion. Um, I really recommend these little scanners just so it can take your customer straight directly to your Instagram. I feel like these are really, really beneficial. And honestly, I stick these everywhere I go, literally everywhere I go. I also have this stuck on my car. People literally scan this when I'm parking. And honestly, it's a good way to promote yourself. So Vancy actually sent me a package, honestly, but I just haven't had time to open it. So let's open it together. Let's see what he sent me. me what he, oh my God. Stop. Stop it right now. Oh my God. Vancy, I freaking love you. His card. Here are some freebies. Oh my God. He sent me some circle ones as well. He also sent me this second package here. Oh my goodness! He to add like on my backpack, especially I'll add this, definitely will add this on my gym bag so I can promote myself while I'm working out. It's a scanner with your business name, girl. You need to definitely get this. I'll add this for my car keys. So if people ever want to scan me, I literally have it on the go. Go check him out. Tell him La Fresa sent you. How long did it take for you to grow your business and start getting clients? Honestly, any business is not going to grow overnight. Keep that in mind that no business is going to grow overnight. Every business is different. There's businesses that can grow in three months. There's businesses that can grow in two years. It just all depends on you, on how you promote yourself and how you promote your business. I started seeing like 
clientele during my second year of my florist journey here we have a second package it's so cute i love your sticker by the way so i have this package from emily creations so let's open her up i do sell supplies but that does not mean you do not have to go support others that do the same especially if other suppliers don't carry the same paper as you you know she sent me all of this so i can't wait to open this with you guys and show you guys what her little supply shop carries I come a little messed up but that is not her fault she sent this to me like two weeks ago. Quick way to fix your paper if it's ever crumbled like this. Make sure to put this under like something heavy. I would say like under your bed. If you have more papers, stack them on top of this and literally it will be flat again. Make sure to put something heavy on top and it will go back to normal. Just give it a couple hours also sent me this cute karomi plush so if you need karomi plushies go hit her up she sent me a package of like toppers i'm pretty sure so this is her card i'm gonna show you guys where you guys can get a similar card just like this easter one dude these are so cute she also has crowns cute emerald green crown Great last thing she sent me if you guys want or need chanel ribbon my girl hooked me up. Go hit up Emily Creations. Says, what's something a florist should always know? One thing that just came straight to my head is not all money is good money. Honestly, not just a florist should know. I feel like everyone should know that just because someone is trying to pay you, sometimes it's not worth it, you know? It just depends, you know, the circumstances that you're in. Not every customer is supposed to be your customer as well some people are not gonna like your prices which is totally fine and some people are definitely going to agree with your prices which is awesome but don't be discouraged if someone is upset with your prices don't think you have to lowball yourself in order to make them happy okay? people will eventually start noticing your worth and obviously with time your work will improve that is something that every person slash florist should definitely know. This package right here, this is from Bakersfield Floral Supplies. Thank you so much, girl, for sending me this. Me some pink paper. Also sent me these clear little bags. I'm pretty sure you guys seen them all over Instagram. I'll put some pictures here. So she sells these bags. So if you ever need a clear bag, she sells them. Butterflies, so if you guys need butterflies, also little diamond pin sent me a crown as well this one is a pink crown it is pink so go check both of them out if you guys need different colored crowns oh my god this is supplies stem removers if i'm saying that right don't quote me but she sent me a pink one i literally don't own pink i own the green ones she sent me pink scissors and this red thorn remover she also sent me lv ribbon which i have sold before so Thank you for stocking me up again. Oh my god, I've seen this so much on Instagram. Thank you to both girls who sent me two scenario plushies. You guys are literally the best. Thank you. Guys. One last like company I do want to shout out because I use them a lot. I literally use them a lot to design, do anything. I had the bright idea since prom and graduation are coming. If you guys don't know already, I am a makeup artist slashed lash tag artist since prom season is coming i do want to promote my makeup and lash beauty side and i also want to promote my floral stuff slash money bouquets lays and everything so i made and designed these beautiful cards on canva.com this is my beauty side obviously i added my little scan code so it can take you straight to my instagram but i highly suggest canva if you guys want to design your own business cards or honestly anything I love Canva and I highly suggest buying the VIP. Honestly, I feel like it's totally worth it. Whenever I have to go deliver a bouquet to a school or anything like that, I like to go to the parking lot and honestly just add these to the cars just so I can promote myself. And I highly suggest doing this whenever a special event is coming like Mother's Day, Valentine's Day, or you know, grad season. Go promote yourself, girl. I always get asked, how do you promote yourself? And honestly, it's with these things like this, stickers, custom business cards, put them all around your city community. And I bet you, you'll have at least a customer too from that. To wrap up this video, thank you guys so much for watching. I will be 
more consistent with this channel please let me know what other videos you would like to see from me thank you guys for sending me these products and thank you guys for watching if you do want to subscribe and like this video to watch more of me please do so so you guys can watch more florist videos bye